our previous lecture, we were able to discuss about the lipid-derived autocoids, particularly the eicosanoids. So one of the group of the eicosanoids that we, are, we have discussed are the prostanoids. When we say prostanoids, these are a subclass of eicosanoids consisting of prostaglandins, thromboxanes, and prostacyclines. So prostaglandins are considered to be mediators of inflammatory and anaphylactic reactions. The thromboxanes are considered to be mediators of vasoconstriction. And the prostacyclines are considered to be active in the resolution phase of the inflammation. So all of these are considered to be eicosanoids and all are derived from uh, the membrane phospholipids. Another group of lipid-derived autocoids are the leukotrienes. For the outline of the presentation, the first part will uh, introduce the leukotrienes. We also have the introduction to the lipoxygenase pathway, the pharmacological effects of the leukotrienes, and the leukotriene antagonist and their therapeutic uses. So what are leukotrienes? Leukotrienes, or simply LTs, are synthesized by the 5 lipoxygenase pathway in the neutrophils, monocytes, macrophages, mast cells, and keratinocytes. They are also synthesized in the lungs, the spleen, the brain, and the heart. They are considered to be lipid mediators that play pivotal roles in acute, chronic, acute and chronic inflammation and allergic diseases. This diagram shows the metabolism of arachidonic acid and lipoxygenase cyclooxygenase pathways. The metabolism of the arachidonic acid follows the pathway indicated by the enzyme that initiates its reaction. So these enzymes are the cyclooxygenase and the lipoxygenase. DCOX, or the cyclooxygenase, also known as the prostaglandin endoperoxide synthase, catalyzes the conversion of arachidonic acid into prostaglandins PGG2, and the PGH2. The PGH2 is then converted into eicosanoids such as the prostaglandins PGD2, PGE2, and the PGF2 alpha. Other prostanoids formed are the thromboxane and the prostacycline. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs inhibit tox and therefore the synthesis of prostaglandins and other prostanoids. There are at least two COX isoforms, the COX-1 and the COX-2. Both catalyze the same reaction. However, almost all normal tissues show an expression of the COX-1, which has a mainly homeostatic function and low levels of COX-2, which is mainly induced by inflammatory stimuli. Therefore, Specific inhibitors of COX-2 have been developed to inhibit inflammation without blocking the protective effects of the constituent prostaglandins. Let's now proceed to the lipoxygenase pathway or the LO pathway. So this pathway leads to the formation of the monoxygenated compounds such as the hydroxy peroxytetraenoic acids or the HPETs and metabolites known as the lipoxins via the three principal enzymes 5-lipoxygenase, 12-lipoxygenase, and the 15-lipoxygenase. The 5-HPETs are considered to be substrates for the leukotriene synthesis that lead to the formation of a series of key inflammatory mediators, the leukotrienes, including the unstable intermediate leukotriene A4 or the LTA4. The leukotriene A4 is converted to the potent 
leukotriene B4. And the uh, cystinyl leukotrienes, LTC4, D4, and E4. Sequential oxidation of arachidonic acid by the action of the lipoxygenases leads to the formation of the lipoxins, lipoxin A4, and the lipoxin B4. The lipoxins are considered to be structurally related to the leukotrienes but appear to act through a distinct set of receptors and have different actions in vivo. The figure also shows that the steroids, particularly the glucocorticoids, inhibit the activity of the phospholipases. For the pharmacologic effects of the leukotrienes, so the leukotrienes contract the most of the smooth muscle. The cystinyl leukotrienes, which includes the LTC4, D4, and E4, are responsible for the airway and smooth muscle contractions during asthma. They also play various other inflammatory processes in vascular and skin diseases. The LTC4, LTD4, and LTE4, or the cystinyl uh, leukotrienes, are considered to be potent vasoconstrictors. They are potent bronchoconstrictors and cause bronchospasm. They are also considered to be 1,000 times more potent than histamine. They increase the capillary permeability and also increase the mucus secretion and impair mucus clearance by inhibiting the movement of the cilia on airway epithelium. The LTB4 is a potent chemotactic chemical for leukocytes, eosinophils, and monocytes. Other leukotrienes do not possess this action. So when we say chemotactic, that comes from the word chemotaxis, uh, an immunological term or a term from immunology which is defined as a movement of an entity in response to a chemical stimulus. So in this case, the movement refers to the, uh, the movement of these particular leukocytes, not to the particular area of interest. The LTB4 also promotes the adhesion of the neutrophils to the vascular endothelium. Let's now proceed to the leukotriene antagonist. So the production of leukotrienes can be blocked by leukotriene um, lipoxygenase inhibitors. So for exa example of a lipoxygenase inhibitor is the zeliotone. Zeliotone inhibits the 5-lipoxygenase enzyme by chelating the enzyme's non-heme iron. The figure shows the label of zeliotone extended release tablet. According to the label, zeliotone is a leukotriene synthesis inhibitor indicated for the prophylaxis and chronic treatment of asthma in humans, particularly in adults and children 12 years of age and older. The clinical use of zeliotone is limited in veterinary medicine due to the cost and adverse effects such as liver toxicity. The leukotriene receptor antagonists are considered to be emerging as effective treatment for asthma symptoms. Montelukast, with a trade name of Zingular, and Saferculast, with a trade name Acolate, are now used in small animals. These drugs reduce bronchial spasm and improve the pulmonary function. So the diagram shows the uh, the Montelukast sodium with a trade name Singular and the 
Zafriculast or Zafriculast with a trade name Apolate, which is used as, um, which is designated as eucotriene receptor antagonists that are uh, said to be effective for the treatment of asthma symptoms. According to the PLUMS medication guide, Montelukast is sometimes used to treat asthma in cats. It has also been tried to decrease the inflammation associated with inflammatory bowel disease and heartworm disease. The FDA approved this drug for use in humans, but it is not officially approved for use in animals. The FDA allows veterinarians to prescribe products containing this drug in different species or for other conditions in certain situations. For their therapeutic uses, the leukotriene antagonists are used as adjunctive treatment for atopic dermatitis in dogs and asthma in cats. However, they are not effective for acute asthma attacks. For their pharmacokinetics, the information available for their PK is for humans only. The pharmacokinetics of leukotriene antagonists has not been studied in domestic animals. For its adverse effects, no adverse effects have been reported in animals because of limited experience with these two drugs. In humans, common adverse effects include GI distress, hallucinations, and agitation.